Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamen Anchev. I got some NEA tournament highlights, but first, everyone listen to this. Jonesboro played in a Texas tournament tonight, and Marquis Pointer finished with 17 points, 10 assists, 10 steals, and 9 rebounds. In other words, he was one rebound away from a quadruple double. Jonesboro won the game 78-61. Let's get back to the NEA tournament, though. Wow, impressive stuff. But Mark Whitmire and West High took on Isaac Middlebrooks and Cedar Ridge. Fourth quarter, a give and go, and Chase Mickelson flies into your screen for a lane. West High up 11. Cade Crabtree comes right back with a pull up J, but it wasn't enough. Rico Mayo would finish with style on the break. It looks like West Side will play Valley View in the Division II Championship. The Blazers are big on Osceola right now. Bay took on Mark Tree. First quarter, a rainbow three. For D'Angelo Griffin right here, look at that one stay up in the air. Mark Tree down 14-13. But tonight it was all about Bay. Jonathan Crane with a two-handed block. Wow. Stay with this sequence. Taylor Lane back the other way. Look at this step move. Wow. What a game for Bay. Later, a nice outlet pass. Dustin Utley to Colton Watson for two more. Watson had 24. Bay led 38-25 at the half. Second half, Watson returns the favor with a behind-the-back pass to Utley for two. Bay wins big, 75-53. The other semi in this division was Marmaduke and EPC. First quarter, a loose ball, and Hayden Winberry picks it up and goes in for a reverse lay-in to all at that point. He tries to score again down low, but Aaron Scales says... No. What a block. Marmaduke would take a three-point lead following an Andrew Church corner three ball, but EPC would fight tonight. A miss and a board and bucket for Zach Maddox. EPC would win 61-60 in a late shot and will play Bay in the Division I championship. The A-State men's basketball team trailed South Alabama 33-28 at the half, but battled back to tie it at 53 and send it to overtime. The Red Bulls win the OT and the game 63-60. Anthony Livingston finished with a double-double, 16 points and 13 rebounds. The Red Bulls have now won four in a row, improving to 6-4, and four, including 1-0 in Sunbelt play. Earlier in the night, the A-State women also had a comeback, beating South Alabama 62-50 despite a 13-point halftime deficit. Dre Gamble scored 17 second-half points, 19 total for the game. A-State starts conference play with the win and improves to 6-5 and five overall. The basketball Red Wolves are now in Mobile, while pretty soon the football Red Wolves will be there as well. And so will we. At this time tomorrow, the Red Wolves and our sports department will all be in Mobile gearing up for the Go Daddy Bowl. We're only five days away from the big game. You, you can tell the difference between before the break and after. They can, you know, they can see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, that it's time to get ready. they got a real healthy respect for the opponent. They've watched enough tape to know it's a really good football team. And so I, Now it's just getting their bodies ready because mentally I, they know what we're up against and, and they've been watching film. And So I think they're prepared in that sense. It's, it's, it's being ready come Sunday and getting their bodies back. And a big win for Brett Bielema in Arkansas last night. The Razorbacks beat Texas 31-7 to win the Texas Bowl. Brandon Allen threw two touchdown passes, earning Texas Bowl MVP honors. The defense was dominant, forcing two turnovers, including a scoop and score for Taiwan Johnson. Texas had just 59 total yards for the game. Arkansas wins four of its final six games to finish 7-6 and six on the season. Uh, these guys are a championship-level team. Um, reminds me a lot of a team that I played in. I uh, had a chance to play in the, in the past when we uh, beat Miami at my last place. We catapulted it into three straight championships the next year. Um, I think that we have a lot of guys coming back that uh, if they continue to have the growth that they did a year ago, they're going to be able to do some special things. And guys, the Grizzlies beat the Spurs again, so a big win. But really? Blake and I heading to Mobile at 5 a.m. I'm not a morning person, so this is going to be a tough wake up for me. You could be grumpy in the car. <laughs> well, hopefully not. You're going to have to drag me out. Yeah, poor Blake. Hey, Colin, thanks. Stay with us. We're back after this.